They try and hold me back. 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 Try and hold me back. Try and hold me back. Hi guys. Uh welcome to a commentary that I'm going to do for this video. Um right here I'm warming up my legs with squats uh, with no weight on them. Um, in this video I'm going to be showing you my leg workout that I usually do on Mondays. I do two leg workouts a week. On Mondays I usually focus more on my hamstrings and glutes. So that's the workout that I'm doing today here. So right here I'm just doing it with no weight and then I'm going to increase my weight for each set. I did five sets of these, so um, with, with each set, I just increased the weight up to 185. For some reason, I don't have two of those sets recorded. <laughs> I only have the first three, but that's okay. Um, so you'll just see me doing all my squats, and then you'll get to see what we do next. I try and get as low as I can for these. I know as I increase the weight, it's harder and harder to get low as I squat down. So I'm really trying to work on that. Uh, if you guys have any tips, let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to hear your advice for that. But yeah, that's a work in progress for me. I can do pretty good until I get to probably 175. I think 155 175 then it's then it gets a little harder for me to uh, get as low as I want to for whenever I squat Okay, next I moved on to the line leg -like curl. I do four sets of 15 reps of these and I just have a 25 pound um, weight on there. So I don't know if this is just 25 pounds or if there's more weight added, but I usually do 25 to 35 pounds on this uh, whenever I put a plate on it. And remember to always try and curl your legs as far as possible. I usually hit my butt. <laughs> with the with the pad and then I try to make sure to remember to lower my legs a little slowly so you really feel the stretch and the pressure on your hamstrings that way you get a really good connection and you can really feel it Next for my Monday leg day, 
I move on to sumo squats supersetted with a stiff legged deadlift. So I think here I started out with 55 or 60 pounds for the sumo squat and I did uh, 12 reps I want to say. Yeah, I think it was 12 reps. And then I moved on to stiff legged deadlifts and did 12 reps of those also. So I did this superset four times and I increased the weight each set. So I think like I moved up I think to 75 pounds for sumo squats and then stiff legged deadlift I moved up to 35 to 40 pounds for each each dumbbell. These kill me. I really like putting a plate underneath my toes. That way I really feel the stretch in my hamstrings. And uh, you get a really good stretch whenever you go down and then back up. Don't forget to really squeeze your glutes whenever you come up. Whenever you do the stiff uh, legged deadlifts. Um, they may not look too pretty, but it really helps on working your glute muscles as well whenever you do the stiff like a deadlifts. I love re-watching these videos sometimes. There's creepers like in the back that are like staring at me or like, I don't know, just doing the most random things. Thankfully in this clip, <laughs> you don't see anyone else but me, so that's good. But yeah, sometimes you get those those weirdos there's one clip uh from this workout day that i couldn't put on here because this one guy was just straight up staring at me as i do the cable kickbacks like staring at my booty and I, guys why do you do that you make girls feel uncomfortable do not do that like please just don't do it just look away or look in the mirror and pretend you're looking at yourself when you're really looking at us but don't straight up stare at us we know and we feel uncomfortable <laughs> so please no more creeping After my superset, I move on to the standing single leg curl. So for these, I just add a 10 pound, sometimes I add a 5 on top of that. I don't know, these really kill my hamstrings, I really feel it. it's really hard for me to get all my reps in. Um, here I'm doing 15 reps for 4 sets. So um, I think I kept it at 10 pounds for this because for some reason I'm not very strong doing these. Uh, I like struggle doing these but I am stronger on my left hamstring than I am on my right so it's easier for me to finish my reps on my left side for some reason I guess I'm just stronger on that side so I gotta really work harder to get my right leg even with that <laughs> and whenever you do these I try and of course hit your butt you know you want to curl it up as high as you can and then lower it semi slowly so you feel that muscle contraction Next, I move to the abductor and adductors. Please, no perverted comments on these. Um, I know it's kind of hard with these and I was kind of skeptical on filming these, but you know what, I'm showing you my leg day. This is what I do. Um, so yeah, I guess just enjoy watching them. Just no perverted comments. Uh, <laughs> for these, I just do 15 times three sets. And uh, whenever I stand, whenever I do the abductor, is that I really feel it more in my glutes and the outside of my legs. So I really prefer doing that rather than sitting. 
for the adductors, I don't mind, you know, there's no, there's no easy way to do that without sitting down. So that's what I'm doing here. So yeah. Okay, and to finish it off, finish off my leg day for my glute and hammies, I end with cable glute kickbacks. And for these, I don't play. Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with these. I love them, but I hate them because they burn so bad. I kind of do a burnout set. I do 100 reps in total for each leg. I do 25 reps, four sets. So, um, and I don't switch legs in between. I do one whole leg for 100 reps and then I go into the next leg and do that leg. And I only probably take like 30 seconds to a minute rest in between. So I'm, I'm literally burning out <laughs> my glutes whenever I do this. Um, but yeah, these, these really get me, they get, <laughs> they get my heart rate up, they get me sweating. Like I just like finishing with these. It just makes me feel better after my leg workout. So yeah, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this commentary. I hope you enjoyed the workout footage that I got for you. Um, I have other stuff that I want to film for you, so please let me know if you enjoy this. Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let me know what other days that you would like to see uh, for my workout. And I will do that. So thanks so much again, guys. Mwah. See you on the next one. What's up, guys? So, yeah, I feel exhausted from my workout. Uh, you guys got to see my workout. And right now I am starving and I am making these chicken sausage things. I'll show you. Yummy. I just started them. Uh, where's the packaging? These. Oh my god, they're delicious. And the macros are pretty good. Um, you can't see, but 4.5 fat, 3 carb, and 13 protein. And one, so that's what I'm going to be eating. I already had some potato salad because I was starving and I couldn't wait. So, 